was a noticeable difference in terms of teamwork or the way that the two companies' teams worked together. Um, we felt that one of the companies, um, the teams just didn't quite click as, as well. Um, and perhaps um, this caused a second problem. The second problem may have been the fact that there wasn't enough emphasis or there certainly wasn't enough done in terms of total system testing. I think maybe the, the slight, uh, let's say um, it just wasn't quite as strong a team, a total team, um, maybe that's what caused the second thing, I'm not sure. But um, I also have a suspicion because um, I was with you in the last moments uh, last night. I really do have a suspicion that when you uh, try to, to push the envelope too close to a, an event, uh, an event would be something like a demo or, or something uh, where you have to uh, uh, bring a bunch of factors that you can't control. You knew that this demo, you couldn't control it in terms of what equipment you were going to be assigned. So, so to, to push the envelope where, where you, you're doing a lot of um, last minute uh, work or, or, or last minute adjustments, when you push it too close to that kind of uncontrolled situation, actually it's like holding up a red flag to the devil and saying, screw me. Um, the thing is, is that um, in real life things are going to happen uh, it bad enough that you can control the situation. Like for instance, I can try and control the time and we're already almost an hour late. So the thing is, is that um, imagine where it's totally uncontrolled for you. So so the, the mistake, I, I think, uh, I believe here is that you've got to try and separate um, the time in your project that you're doing changes, try and make a really big buffer um, between that time where it ends and the time where that uncontrolled situation, the demo, the, the, the product uh, uh, usability test, whatever, make it make it a, a big buffer. You should have really um, not been working so hard last night on changes or adjustments. You should have actually had that done uh, perhaps a couple of days before, and that gives you enough time to, to then go and do um, days of system testing or, or days of just basically trying to destroy your system, seeing what, what ticks and what doesn't tick. So um, I, I, I believe you're all pretty good peers, and, and I think really you probably all um, like each other and work together, but, but I think that um, somehow um, on one team, the, the, the clicking wasn't quite there as much as the other team. Secondly, the, the system testing, obviously, there was one team that got more testing done and they were able to, to um, uh, basically survive the uncontrolled instance. And thirdly, in general, um, I think that uh, when, when you push it too close to the event, uh, you're just asking for trouble. Now, one last thing with respect to priorities. Um, I gave you the requirements and uh, you picked the priorities I did give you guidelines, but you picked the priorities. So um, I think um, maybe one team uh, perhaps um, didn't put uh, an emphasis on what I think were the more important priorities. Actually, um, you know, there's a, there's, it's really nice to have bells and whistles, and it's really nice to have a, a great display and, and that type of stuff, but if it doesn't work, at the very core, if, if the engine isn't working properly, if it's not robust, then maybe it doesn't matter how good everything else is, generally it taints everything. So remember that when you pick your priorities, especially for an iterative project, you must pick a core that you can achieve. And achievement means it's got to survive the demo. It can't be good only if the demo is perfect. It's got to survive that demo. So. So uh, when you choose your priorities, make sure you really choose them well. The ones that really count, that when you stand up, it works. It may not look so good, but it works. And that will then get you the contract. Okay, so without further ado, um, uh, let's give a big round of applause for the winners of the contract, uh, Squamish. Yeah.
this is our gift uh, to all of you for all the effort you put into everybody that is putting the effort. We have some refreshments in the back for you. Happy so please partake. Oh. Okay, the lead developers, uh, we again want you to pop the uh, bottles. Please pop the bottles. This is historical moment. I can open here one. <laughs> Hey, can I open here? Can I open here? Hey, what? 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 H